1933, The Invisible Man materialized on the silver screen, a groundbreaking tale of scientific ambition spiraling into unforeseen consequences. Directed by James Whale, this classic film follows the unraveling of a scientist turned invisible and his descent into madness. The stark portrayal of unchecked power and the fragility of the human psyche resonates even today. The film's enduring impact prompts reflection on moments that linger in memory. Is there a particular scene that etched itself into your mind? Perhaps the eeriness of an unseen presence or the poignant portrayal of isolation struck a chord. We're curious about your cherished memories tied to this iconic film. What resonated with you? Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. Your connection to the Invisible Man adds depth to its timeless allure. Unraveling the layers of this film reveals intriguing details, from the pioneering visual effects to the thematic exploration of human nature's darker facets. Yet, at its core, it's a narrative that delves into the consequences of wielding power without restraint a narrative as relevant today as it was then. Your personal tales enrich the legacy of this cinematic gem, offering new perspectives and insights. Share your experiences, and let's explore the invisible threads that bind us to this enduring classic. The Invisible Man, a 1933 film directed by James Whale, unfolds the gripping tale of Dr. Jack Griffin, a scientist who discovers a formula that renders him invisible. Adapted from H.G. Wells' classic novel, the cinematic gem boasts iconic characters and showcases groundbreaking special effects for its time. Griffin's descent into madness as he grapples with the consequences of his newfound ability captivates audiences, blending horror and science fiction in a compelling narrative. Claude Rains' stellar performance brings depth to the unseen protagonist, utilizing only his voice to portray a character struggling with power and isolation. The film's unique style lies in its innovative visual effects, using cutting-edge techniques to illustrate the invisible man's presence through bandages, floating objects, and the haunting image of an empty suit. This pioneering use of special effects left an indelible mark on cinema history, influencing future filmmakers, and establishing a benchmark for the genre. The Invisible Man's impact on popular culture remains palpable, inspiring numerous adaptations, spin-offs, and references in various media over the decades, solidifying its status as a timeless classic that continues to intrigue and captivate audiences, inviting them into a world where the line between science and humanity blurs. The wall calendar in the police station seen around 28 of the 1933 movie The Invisible Man showcases an advertisement for Old Chum, Canada's favorite tobacco. This seemingly subtle detail in the film adds a touch of authenticity to the setting, reflecting the era's advertising practices and cultural references. Despite its brief appearance, this prop contributes to the overall atmosphere and historical context of the movie, subtly placing the narrative within a specific time frame. The incorporation of such details highlights the filmmaker's attention to authenticity and period accuracy, enriching the audience's experience by immersing them further into the world of the story. When screenwriter R.C. Sheriff landed in Hollywood to adapt H.G. Wells' novel into a script for The Invisible Man, Universal Studios couldn't provide him with the original book. Instead, they handed over 14 disparate treatments from previous writers, some even taking the tale to realms like Tsarist Russia or Mars. Faced with this mishmash, Sheriff scoured secondhand bookstores and stumbled upon Wells' work. Recognizing its cinematic potential, he diverged from Universal's norm of loose adaptations and crafted a script that hewed closer to the book, honoring Wells' negotiated script approval. This departure from the usual approach to book adaptations at Universal Studios set The Invisible Man apart from predecessors like Dracula and Frankenstein, aligning it more faithfully with Wells' original narrative. The decision to exclude The Invisible Man from Hammer Productions might have been a conscious choice owing to the challenges in visually representing an invisible character within the stylistic choices and special effects of that era. While Dracula, Frankenstein's creature, the Wolfman, and the Mummy were reimagined in Hammer's Gothic, 
and often technicolor interpretations. The elusive nature of an invisible protagonist might not have aligned with their aesthetic and storytelling preferences. Additionally, the intricacies of depicting invisibility convincingly on screen, especially in the Hammer style, might have presented formidable technical hurdles. This deviation from the Hammer adaptations not only underscores the unique complexities inherent in portraying an invisible character, but also preserves the Invisible Man's distinct identity within the pantheon of classic monsters. Its absence from the Hammer films becomes a testament to its unparalleled narrative challenge, and the Universal Monster's refusal to dilute its essence by conforming to prevalent cinematic trends of the time. Ultimately, the separation from the Hammer legacy has inadvertently contributed to maintaining the enigmatic allure and originality of the Invisible Man within the realm of classic monsters, ensuring its legacy remains intact and distinctive. In the 1933 movie The Invisible Man, the titular character embodies a villainous presence, a stark contrast to the sympathetic and humorous portrayal seen in the 2000 TV series adaptation. However, beyond the on-screen portrayal, there exists an intriguing anecdote involving Claude Rains, the actor who brought the invisible protagonist to life. In a re-release years after the film's creation, Rains attended a screening incognito, his face fully covered against the bitter cold. Despite his attempts to pay for tickets, his distinctive voice gave him away, prompting the attendant to recognize him and offer free entry, a gesture Rains vehemently refused, insisting on paying in full. This behind-the-scenes moment sheds light on Rain's commitment to anonymity and professionalism, even outside the realm of his iconic role. In the 1933 movie The Invisible Man, an intriguing detail unfolds during the film's production. To create the illusion of the character's invisibility during the bandage removal scene, director James Whale employed a unique technique. Claude Rains, the actor portraying the invisible protagonist, was entirely dressed in black velvet against a matching background while filming. This inventive approach aimed to maintain the illusion that Rains wasn't present when his character removed the bandages. This method underscores the creative strategies employed by the filmmakers to achieve the seamless invisibility effect, contributing to the film's technical innovation and cinematic impact. As we bid adieu, let's linger in the echoes of the invisible man a timeless enigma that haunts the corridors of cinematic history. Its spectral narrative invites introspection, nudging us to contemplate the unseen forces that shape our lives. Perhaps it's the profound invisibility of human emotions or the clandestine nature of power these themes resonate, casting an indelible imprint on our consciousness. Your journey through the celluloid realm may have evoked myriad emotion thrills tingling down your spine the eerie allure of the unknown, or the pointed reflection on the fragility of our existence. As we stand on the precipice of our thoughts, let this serve as an invitation, a whispered plea to unfurl your cherished recollections or musings about this classic. Maybe it was the unparalleled artistry of the cinematography, the enigmatic portrayal of invisibility, or the captivating allure of the Naradavire insights. Reflections and memories are the threads that weave the tapestry of collective appreciation for this cinematic gem. Your thoughts, reflections, and treasured memories are the stars that illuminate the vast universe of discourse surrounding the Invisible Man. Share your whispers, your revelations, and let them dance alongside the echoes of others who, like you, have been spellbound by this enigmatic tale. Thank you for traversing this ephemeral juncture, for allowing the tendrils of your curiosity to unfurl in this space of contemplation and nostalgia.